year what's good cryptocurrency fans out there welcome back to the everything all coin channel today we're going to be talking about game now i'm not going to lie i got some speculations on game and i actually do believe game is crazy undervalued because of what's been happening lately leads me to believe that game might have some crazy upside but we will see i want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below though so before we get into talking about all of that i would like to ask you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already we're on a roll to 20k subscribers if you guys would like to help out with that hit that red subscribe button don't forget to like the video comment what you guys think about game down below and while you guys are down there you guys can hit that discord link to join the discord to continue the crypto conversation we're having daily and you guys can ask your most important question is how does that patreon group work as you guys know we have been getting into some private sales right we made some banger calls like game convo lester um hydra these are different agents we've called out ion things like that in the discord group so if you guys do not want to miss out on that check out that patreon group also check out my ebook on essentials to master in tokenomics this will help you guys pick out your next gem once you're able to understand um what goes into a successful crypto which means the crypto the market cap the fully diluted evaluation, the circulating supply, things like that. So you guys are able to understand that and be able to pick out your next gem. So check out that ebook. It will be in the comment section and in the description down below. Let's get right into the video. guys. So like I said, I do have some speculations, which we're going to be covering on these different topics in this video here. When it comes down to game game is sitting at a $209 million market cap, sitting at 21 cents, down 11.8% on the day. Now, of course, because what's going on with Bitcoin, it has taken a nice little tumble. It was close it was close to that 40 cent mark it was close to that 40 cent mark right and it came down of course and i do believe this thing has some more legs to actually run right as you can see here's all-time high was eight days ago where it hit 39 cents so it is down 46 percent from its high which is respect like this is normal in crypto you'll see projects go hit highs and then come down about close to 50 percent or so from its highs especially depending on what bitcoin is doing so that is pretty much what's going on with game as of right now i had a nice little retrace after going up consecutive days back to back to back to back to back to back right people was making a lot of money off of the game but now i'm going to explain what is game and why game is pretty much bullish right now so you guys should all as of right now know what game is right pretty much game empowers ai agents to operate autonomously processing inputs and generating response while learning from past interactions if you guys don't know game is the framework in the virtuals ecosystem and even even right now people are taking notice of different frameworks that's out there for these ai agents masari put out their agentic framework in their article here it's an overview of the agent framework here you got rig eliza game is here modular plus environment uh, agnostic right and all of this here is pretty much what's going to be happening for um, games framework right compared to all the other frameworks now with recent news right game actually well virtuals has partnered with alluvium and alluvium will be using the game framework to power essentially their npcs right the crypt here had put out an article which we're going to pretty much go over real quick right so alluvium will utilize virtuals protocol ai agents to power smart game characters pretty much their npc and put simply utilize using virtuals game framework aims to improve gameplay interactions with npcs as they'll be powered using more effective artificial intelligence this will manifest itself through more dynamic questing storytelling and de deeper npc relations relationships while the partnership announced claim announcement claims that all three titles which is all three of um um, alluvium's games will eventually use the framework it appears that alluvium's evolving open world survival game overworld which has gotten a lot of hype will use it first so imagine billions of npcs agents imagine them playing millions of games simultaneously imagine them streaming talking blasting music with their communities on socials what infrastructure powering that will be worth that's virtuals convo music right we're going to be talking about all of this because i'm suspect i'm expecting that what is coming up next within the like the agents people are actually talking about DeFi agents i do believe that gaming agents is probably going to be huge and that's going to be the resurgence for gaming and few realize that virtuals team back in late august were just days behind google to release their scientific paper on video game generation if there is any team in crypto who is going to push forward the web3 gaming industry utilizing their core game framework then it is virtuals guys 
I believe what's going on right now, Virtuals was the launch pad that took off that succeeded with a lot of different frameworks, right? But I do believe that, as you guys know, Virtuals was renamed from FavDAO. That was like a whole gaming guild, right? And they kept the essence of what they wanted to do, but I think they kept it with the game token, right? More of the, it turned into a framework and things like that. But I believe what they're going to look to do is add a lot of different things for a game. Because even here, as you can see from this tweet here, right if you guys missed the first two waves of virtuals ecosystem plays it is now time to jump in so the first wave was the pump with introduction of game and convo and luna first autonomous chain transactions right the second you have virtual fund which was the a bunch of agents that's coming out right so you had your ai xbt sequoia poly poly and etc there's a bunch of them as of right now we've been trading them we've made some decent money off of the ones that hit like lester hydra um sequoia uh, convo things like that we hit on all of those right but the third wave now after the retracement is looking like it's going to be the top projects from wave one and wave two will see inflows of money as they are they've shown consistency and continue to build within the ecosystem they will integrate game and convo frameworks to allow agent to agent interactions one step closer to agent country like explained by ethermage so he was also in the podcast where he normally well not normally sorry where he was pretty much talking about how he sees virtual as like building countries of AI agents. So this thing could get crazy. And he also did say that he had a virtual like protocol for pretty much Solana. And that would pretty much would kill a lot of the launch pads, agent launch pads on Solana if that did drop. But they said they wanted to focus more on the base side. So right now, looking at everything, right, let's say a game does reach the market cap of AI 16Z. I'm holding on to, to game um, from virtuals like crazy right now right i do hold my convo i hold my game i do hold virtuals right game is one that i want to add even more to the bag as of right now so if it did hit the market cap of ai 16z not saying to overtake ai 16z but if it did hit that 1.5 billion dollar market cap one game would be worth a dollar and 48 cents and upside of 6x from here right this is pretty decent seeing where we got it from remember we got it at a five million dollar market cap if this guy if this got up there this would be a crazy freaking game now i got something that i want you guys to think about virtual protocol itself has started to partner with a lot of gaming projects to actually create uh to help them enhance their npcs on their games using the game framework to me this gives a lot more utility for game itself more than actual virtual virtual protocol right virtual protocol is pretty much like the launch pad and actually it's being helped because it, base has no token so people are using pretty much base uh pretty much virtuals to trade in and out of these agents right but i do think that game would eventually have a lot more potential than virtuals itself now i could be wrong of course but just seeing how you know just thinking out loud as of right now if game somehow hits the market cap that virtual has of today not also saying it could overtake it but it may who knows with all the integrations let's say they partner with more web3 games and a lot of these web3 games are actually using the game framework they're using game because you have to buy a game token to actually use the framework so the agents could you know pretty much interact with each other right so if a lot of these are actually buying different tokens to use their use within their game well who knows what could happen within the future but let's say a game just hits the market cap of virtuals that would be a 3.1 billion dollar um valuation for a game that could be having game around a 14x that is pretty big from this from right now especially different from where we got it at of course that could be some crazy gains of course i'm like i said i'm holding tight but i wanted to have this discussion with you guys what do you guys think do you guys think that game by virtuals could go crazy let me know in the comment section down below and if you guys haven't subscribed yet please do so we're on a road to 20k subscribers and i'll check you guys later peace youtube